qualities to look for in a life partner before getting married. Choosing a life partner is a crucial decision that significantly influences one's future and happiness. Prior to committing to marriage, assessing certain qualities in a potential spouse can lay the foundation for a fulfilling and harmonious relationship. 1. Compatibility. Compatibility encompasses shared values, beliefs, and aspirations. It is essential to agree on key elements such as family values, lifestyle choices, and long-term goals. Mutual compatibility creates a strong foundation for a lasting and meaningful relationship. 2. Communication skills. Effective communication is crucial for resolving conflicts, expressing emotions, and understanding each other's perspectives. Look for a partner who practices active listening, communicates openly, and values clear and respectful dialogue. 3. Trustworthiness. Trust is the cornerstone of any relationship. A trustworthy partner demonstrates honesty, reliability, and integrity in both actions and words. Trust fosters emotional security and builds a deep bond based on mutual respect. 4. Empathy and emotional support. A compassionate partner who empathizes with your emotions and provides support during challenging times is invaluable. Emotional intelligence and the ability to be present for each other through life's ups and downs enhance the relationship's resilience. 5. Shared Responsibilities Marriage involves shared responsibilities and collaborative decision-making. Seek a partner who is willing to contribute to household tasks, financial planning, and joint decisions, fostering a sense of partnership and equality in the relationship. 6. Mutual Respect Respect for each other's opinions, boundaries, and individuality is crucial. A respectful partner values your autonomy, recognizes your strengths, and consistently shows kindness and consideration in all situations. How to deal with resentment and guilt, get over these emotions. Emotions are a fundamental aspect of being human, enabling us to feel and express ourselves. They span from positive feelings like happiness and excitement to negative ones such as resentment, guilt, and anger. It is important to recognize that negative emotions like anger and resentment can be detrimental, impacting both our mental and physical health, as well as our relationships with others. In this discussion, we will explore straightforward and effective strategies along with valuable insights to help you manage resentment and guilt, ultimately overcoming these emotions for improved well-being and healthier relationships. 1. Identify the source. Identifying the source of resentment and guilt is the first step towards managing and ultimately overcoming these emotions. This involves understanding why you feel these emotions and what contributes to them. They may stem from specific past experiences that continue to impact you, or they could be triggered by current events, arguments, or mistakes you've made. Sometimes, these feelings arise from a recurring pattern of behavior in yourself or others that bothers you. Additionally, they can be influenced by the expectations we have of ourselves and how we believe others perceive us. By recognizing what exactly triggers these emotions, you can better understand and address them. 2. Acknowledge your feelings. Acknowledging your feelings involves recognizing and accepting that you are experiencing emotions like resentment or guilt. It's normal to feel these emotions, as they are a natural part of being human. However, it's important not to be too hard on yourself for feeling this way. Instead of judging yourself, Try to understand why you feel these emotions and what triggered them. By allowing yourself to acknowledge and accept your feelings without being overly harsh, you can begin to process and manage them more healthily. This approach helps prevent these emotions from dominating and controlling your thoughts and actions. 3. Forgiveness. Forgiveness isn't about reconciling or restoring a relationship. It's about accepting what transpired and releasing the negative emotions associated with it, whether you've been hurt by someone else or have made a mistake yourself. It doesn't mean condoning bad behavior or forgetting the past. Rather, it involves recognizing that the past is unchangeable, accepting it as it is, and releasing emotions such as anger, resentment, and guilt. Letting go is crucial for achieving inner peace and progressing towards happiness. 4. Learn from the experience. The most beneficial approach is to gain insights from your experiences and past errors. This entails taking a step back to contemplate what occurred, why it occurred, and how it impacted you emotionally. This reflects
reflective process aims to uncover lessons that foster personal development. Begin by calmly examining the situation and exploring what can be learned from it, refraining from viewing it solely in a negative light. Consider how this experience can contribute to your self-improvement. Lastly, strategize actions that can prevent similar situations in the future, such as establishing boundaries, refining communication skills, or better managing stress. These steps facilitate growth and equip you to tackle challenges more effectively moving forward. 5. Seek support. It's crucial to acknowledge that emotions such as anger, resentment, frustration, and guilt can have significant long-term consequences, impacting both physical and mental well-being. Seeking assistance is essential if managing these emotions independently becomes challenging. Recognize that the intensity of situations triggering these emotions varies for each individual, and overcoming them may necessitate support from others. Engaging in conversations with a trusted friend, family member, or therapist can provide clarity and encouragement. Sharing your emotions with someone else often offers valuable insights and aids in effectively managing difficult feelings. Situations where one should stay quiet, as per psychology. In many instances, individuals may find themselves speaking impulsively, only to regret their words later. Whether motivated by intense emotions, uncertainty, or a need to fill silence, these moments can result in misunderstandings or hurt feelings. Knowing when to remain silent is crucial as it enables individuals to pause, reflect, and respond thoughtfully rather than reacting impulsively. Recognizing the significance of silence in these situations promotes more constructive interactions and fosters personal growth through mindful engagement. With this in mind, today we will explore key situations where choosing silence over speech, supported by psychological insights, proves beneficial. 1. When emotions are overwhelming. In situations where individuals experience intense emotions such as anger, sadness, anxiety, or extreme happiness and excitement, their capacity for mindful and deliberate thinking may diminish. This can lead them to utter hurtful or regrettable words that they would not express under normal circumstances. During moments of overwhelming emotions, whether positive or negative, it is essential for individuals to refrain from making immediate decisions or commitments. Instead, it is wise to remain silent, allow time for reflection, and let emotions settle. This approach helps prevent impulsive actions that may result in negative consequences or remorse later on. Embracing a moment of silence allows individuals to regain clarity, assess the situation more objectively, and make decisions that align with their genuine intentions and values. 2. When others need space. There are occasions when individuals need solitude to contemplate their thoughts and emotions, particularly when dealing with feelings such as resentment, anger, sadness, or anxiety. During these moments, it is crucial to respect their desire for space and quiet instead of pushing them to communicate right away or engage in ongoing conversation. By honoring their need for privacy, individuals can process their thoughts, regain emotional equilibrium, and eventually be more prepared to discuss their feelings when they feel comfortable. This approach nurtures their emotional well-being and enhances their understanding of their own emotions. 3. When others are venting. Sometimes, when people are speaking to you, attempting to convey their emotions or discuss something significant or challenging, it is essential to let them finish without interruption or offering advice. By showing respect and listening attentively without immediately interjecting your own viewpoint or suggestions, you enable them to feel completely heard and understood. While there may be a temptation to jump in with a similar experience or advice that you believe could be helpful, staying silent in that moment benefits both parties. It demonstrates respect, validates their emotions, and gives them the space to fully express themselves. Once they have concluded their thoughts, you can then share your perspective or offer advice. 4. During conflict escalation. In situations of heated arguments or tense environments, choosing silence can prevent the conflict from escalating. This gives both parties the opportunity to calm down, think more clearly, and approach the situation with greater effectiveness. Taking a moment to reflect on the situation before addressing and discussing the conflict can contribute to a smoother resolution. 5. When you are unsure of information. When uncertain about something in a discussion or situation, it's beneficial to refrain from speaking rather than expressing uncertainty, sharing incomplete information, or potentially misleading others. 
Opting for silence in these instances is a strategic choice that promotes effective communication. By abstaining from speaking when unsure, individuals prevent the possibility of spreading misinformation or creating misunderstandings. Engaging in active listening, instead, facilitates a deeper comprehension of the topic under discussion. Ultimately, choosing to stay quiet when uncertain nurtures a constructive environment where accuracy, respect, and collaborative learning can thrive. 6. When facing criticism. When confronted with criticism, particularly after investing significant effort into something you're passionate about, it can be highly frustrating. However, it's important to consider whether responding or becoming defensive will truly be productive. Often, reacting defensively only consumes energy and time, amplifying feelings of irritation. In these instances, it is prudent to remain silent and sincerely listen to the perspectives of others, even if you may not agree with them. 7. When elders in a family are talking. In Indian culture, there is a strong emphasis on respecting elders, a value instilled in people from a young age. It is commonly upheld in our social norms that when elders are engaged in conversation, younger individuals should refrain from interrupting or speaking out of turn unless invited to do so. Such behavior is generally regarded as disrespectful. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comment section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching, please like, share, and subscribe.